Hey guys, uh, because the code breaker method doesn't work on the 77001, I'm here to show you how to uh, get another mod to work. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the little plastic pieces found here, 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 and here on the back of your PS2 Slim. Then remove one, two, three, four, five, six screws from, again, these two places, these two places, and these two places. Now you got to be really careful after you've done that because there's a, there's a leg, or there, not a leg, but a, like a little lip right here that will give you a lot of resistance. You, um, I toyed with it for probably about a half an hour before I realized it wasn't an extra screw. I kept trying to peel this one off and it wasn't working. So no, there is no other screw. You're going to flip it up, grab the front of it first. Again, be really careful, peel that right up should come right up after a little, you know, you got to give it a little push, but not too much. You don't want to break the insides. Lift it up, and there you go. Now, I'm going to go grab the rest of the tools. Now, for the next step, I'm going to use masking tape. You can use whatever kind of tape you'd like, just uh, as long as it's strong enough and it's not double-sided. If it's double-sided when you open the, the, uh, the slim door, the... Uh, It'll pull the sensor up with it. So I'm going to use a, just a small little piece of masking tape and hit that sensor right here, right next to this screw. Just push that sensor down. Keep it right on there. There we go. Make sure it's nice and in there. And it is. And again, it comes up really easily if you happen to need to remove it for some reason. Another piece of, again, stronger masking tape right here on the edge where the other sensor is. This one's a little bit trickier to get to stay down. So I kept having to make the tape a little bit smaller. And this is uh, where some people swear by the tissue method. The tissue just helps keep it pushed down, but as long as you've got a strong enough tape should work just fine for you. All right, now there we go. Look at that, like a glove. All right, I'm gonna grab my power cable here and my AV cable. We're gonna grab an original game, and the uh, the exploit I'm using is. Uh, one from Agent Under Fire. So we're going to pop Agent Under Fire right in there. And we're going to fire it up. Now this is the part where it gets really fun. So I've put in, uh, or I've, I've attached my, uh, my regular PlayStation 2 controller, and I've got um, a, a memory card with a previous save on it. Now, this is the game that I've got, Agent Under Fire. This is one of the ones that's confirmed to work, and I just tried it out before uh, I just started up, so I know it does work. This is the version I have. I think this is the PlayStation Classics version. It might not be the original, but it does work. So, uh, load up Agent Under Fire, and make sure you have a memory card installed. In uh, make sure you get the first... Um, make, uh, beat the first level, get to the second level, the driving level. Don't start the driving level, though. Save your game. Save your game to this memory card, and you can call it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Um, then uh, I, I turned off my PlayStation. You don't have to, but I turned off my PlayStation. Now, the, then I opened it up, and this is where I'm, I'm, I'm doing this particular case mod. Now, I've got my case open just so you can see what I'm doing, but with these two sensors down, you can have the case on and just flip it open and do the same thing. The, the one thing that you're going to want to be careful about is when you're removing the disc. Now, this disc has seen better days. Uh, it's got at least one scratch, or one scratch right here, kind of a bad scratch. Um, but it still plays, um, and that, that's the important part. Now, a lot of the data is written near the center of the disc, so when I try to pull it off, I use a Q-tip so that I'm not damaging it with my fingernails, and I'm grabbing it near the edge, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. So we're going to load the disc up, and I'm going to hit the reset button. See the light turns green, and my PlayStation is loading it up. Sony Computer Entertainment. And we 
got the PlayStation 2 logo. I actually could show you this, couldn't I? The EA Games logo. And MGM. I'm going to move this back down here because we're almost at that point. You're going to hear the Agent Under Fire music. Let me actually turn this down a little bit. Alright, we're going to get to the main menu. And again, I've got that game save on my memory card uh, from the, the driving level. And I'll, I'll, I'll throw a link in the description to the, the exploit that I used, but I know this one works. Alright, reading. And we're now at the 007 Agent Under Fire main screen. Press the start button, it says. Now I'm going to go down to load mission, and this is where I do it. Um, I've gone down to the load mission, but I haven't hit the button yet. Now, the sensors are both still pushed down. This is the point at which I'm going to set my finger on the center, and it's going to sound kind of bad. Um, that's why I, uh, if you have more than one copy of this game, see if you can pick this game up at a, at a cheap video game store online somewhere real cheap. I'm actually selling this copy, ha ha ha. Uh, I'm going to push this down, I'm going to put the Q-tip right underneath, and I'm going to pop it up. Then I'm going to quickly put my other disc on. That is my backup copy, and the music continues. So you know it's working so far. Now, this is my backup copy of the disc that I do actually own. I'm going to go to load mission, and it says using memory card slot one, yes. It's reading. Lo going to double load, or load up my game. This will replace your current game and settings. Continue. Load successful. Alright, it's now loaded that game that's on, again, my memory card. I'm going to go to Select Mission. The Precious Cargo is the, the name of the mission. Load it up. Good work and on your successful infiltration. Three, two, one. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that just fantastic? From here, you can do whatever, you know, from Launch Elf, you can install any number of things. I'm not going to go into that. I just wanted to show you. This exploit does work on a 7701, which is the one that I've got. And I've got my, my PlayStation now running the Launch Elf. Um, uh, I've got it running Launch Elf. So, yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, enjoy.